the first words Sidney Moore had to say when he came out of the gate here at the J. Rubin Long Detention Center were malicious prosecution. This is the scene that we have been seeing up and down Culture Road. See the tire tracks in the road and you can still see some debris around from that crash. People living in the homes there, if they do decide to leave, they can know that their homes are protected. And Caitlin, I just can't believe all of this is happening again one year later. This is not some stagnant water just sitting over a road. It has some real movement to it and it is flowing over. You can see it really rushing. Oh, and just within a couple of hours, it had changed earlier today. Now it's gone back down a little bit again. And neighborhood was evacuated this morning because of flood water. So by early next month, the view from the beach here should simply be water once again. What goes into getting it to be in 11 and a half seconds? Because that is so fast. It is not good that cars are driving down this road because when we were driving down this road, we started seeing sparks flying from those power lines. Their addition helped the office move 1,000 more cases in one year compared to the same time period the year before. Oh. Billy Swanky was so surprised by the extreme flooding in Bridge Creek. Almost 30 here, I stay here. This never happened. He doesn't even have rain boots. I've been using flip flop. It's not healthy. The major flood one year ago only got up to his back shed. It's a loose, loose battle. That battle began last night. Right here, so far, me and my dogs. When the water started seeping inside. Last thing you know is ankle deep. He had already raised up the furniture. Paint cans, what we have, anything you can put your hand on, you know, try to raise up the best you can. That's all you can do. And some of the stuff, you can't save it. It's bubbling. Yep, oh, they are uh, bubble everywhere. <laughs> and he can't stay home. He has to wait it out at his brother-in-law's house. The water and the horrid smell from what Swanky and his neighbors say is sewage in the water are taking over. It's bad for your health. If the water goes any higher, he'll make a call to get help moving appliances out. Neighbors, everybody helping everybody. But we all knew that sometime or another, the water is going to claim your house. And I have to go next door help them make move their furniture. And I just got a trailer here today, and my in-laws are coming from Ohio with trailers. The Davises already raised their furniture, but the water is rising too. Now we're to the point we got to get it out because I have no more blocks. They hope to save half of their furniture. But the house itself is already damaged, like this carpet, which was white. She's a total loss. We'll have to gut her and start over. These houses aren't in flood zones, but now they're in the same high water as those that are. You don't realize it until it happens to you what it's like. It's terrible. Bucksville Hall is filled with the usual pre-wedding bustle. No. You said here? Visions of love. That's cute, Ellie. Like yeah. And lots of sunshine. But just three days ago, the wind was howling through the tin roof as it crumbled under the weight of a giant pine tree. My phone was blown up and saying, you need to go look at Thompson Farm. Strong winds from Hurricane Matthew twisted and knocked the tree straight into the middle of the reception venue on Thompson Farm in Bucksport. Is there still a possibility of having a wedding here on Tuesday? The farm's owner, Scott Thompson, said yes. Cut the tree down, we drug the tree out in pieces, and then we pulled down each side of the barn that was leaning down. So the wedding preparations happened under an open roof. I was actually okay with it. I was like, you know what, we'll make it work. It's a barn with a sunroof. Yeah, they got it at midnight here last night. The bride only found out Sunday morning she'd be off work. So thank you so much. They told me that I could go and go get married. Because while trees changed her wedding plans, both Hall and her then fiance were working the hurricane as first responders in North Myrtle Beach. Um, any type of fire alarm calls, search and rescue. He was on traffic calls as an officer, and she eventually ended up at the major fire in Cherry Grove as a firefighter paramedic. We were one of the first trucks in and um, trying to get a hold on that last fire before it moved over to the another uh, complex. Risking their lives just days ago, now pledging the rest of theirs to each other. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. And for better or for worse. Everything we've gone through with him getting hit by a car on duty to the storm. I mean, it's, it has been a whirlwind that we've gone through. So we're good to go. But even when that wind gusts, they'll have each other. Bobby, you may kiss your bride.
Reporting in Bucksport, Amy Littman, WMBF News.